Yo, what's good, YouTube? I'm back with the update on the Major League, uh, Major League Pokemon Season Three. Um, yeah, an update. <laughs> Sorry, I just woke up. Um, basically, with uh, Sun and Moon dropping the league, uh, what's this? This is a while back. The league decided that we would finish the league seven weeks in, and then take the eight coaches who were still interested in the league and make an eight-man tournament to see who the uh, champion would be because we're not just going to cut off a season and then end it, you know, mid-season. So, basically, we had uh, eight players and we had the quarterfinals and they were all forfeited. And one of those matches was me and an opponent, obviously. So, we move on to the semifinals here where we're going to take on... Uh, a buddy of mine and uh, so I got my team here that I built out of my squad of course I, I'm not bringing my mega again like I either choose not to most of the season because it's just had bad matchups or whatever but anyways uh, let's just hop into the team builder here for a second so we bring uh, Infernape here it's kind of a weird set protect and Deaver flamethrower stealth rock enough speed to outspeed a uh, Timid, uh, Nittle King, uh, Focus Sash, and Blaze, just to, uh, pretty much we can lead off against, uh, Mega Low Pony. My opponent's team consists of Mega Low Pony and some other threats that I'll get into in just a second. But basically, uh, Protect is there for the fake out from the Mega Low Pony, and then I can, uh, uh, either take a hit and use Endeavor, or depending on what Monty brings on his team, I would probably maybe predict him to switch out as I can set up my Stealth Rocks or something. Uh, not really sure how that's going to work out yet. Like I said, it depends on what team he brings. And uh, his team is Mega Low Pony, Latios, Feral Thorn, Arcanine, Nittle King, Jellicent, Kecleon, Sylveon, Cresselia, Electros, and Golbat. And I really expect Jellicent to be there, so it's probably like one of his initial switch ins for the Infernape, so that so if he does bring it, I will probably set up rocks after going for the protect. Anyways, uh, focus sash allows me to be you know not killed, and I will be put in blaze range, so my flamethrower does maximum amount to all his mons unless he brings like a flash flash fire arcanine, which I don't expect. Uh, and like I said, if he does bring the jealous, then I'll protect and then go for stealth rock, and then like I can switch into my Rakuniclus or my uh. Togate. but basically this thing's here to protect and endeavor and then maybe set up rocks and maybe get off of like flamethrower just a just a sash lead not really important to uh the match unless ferrothorn becomes a problem which is very possible but i also pack a uh, fire coverage on my needle queen <coughs> i had to sneeze Anyways, my next mine is uh, one of the more important ones. Um, it's a Life Orb Kieran Black with, uh, again, enough speed to outspeed a uh, Timid Nittle King. And uh, just the rest, you know, max special attack and the rest in bulk. Uh, Ice Beam, Dragon Pulse, Substitute, Roost. I have Sub and Roost to, uh, you know, keep my HP up and maybe get up a Sub. Life Orb and Roost and just, you know, negates each other. This is my main recipient of a, uh, of a stat pass. Basically, uh, I weaken everything enough and maybe take out the Latios or something and pass a, uh, or if it's the Latios is Thunder Waved or something from my Togete. Which, let me go ahead and show you my Togete real, real quick. So basically I can, uh, Thunder Wave everything that's not uh well basically everything unless it's a low pony that's not you know mega evolved and then the nittle king obviously and the electros but i can thunder wave things like latios that are actually faster than my uh Kirim, and maybe thunder wave mega low pony and then like a uh, nasty plot baton pass into my low pony as i i mean my Kirim. As I can take a hit 
and then baton pass out since I'm very fucking slow. And basically you get my carry in with a uh, plus three boost and then just run through his team if they are, uh, if they're slower and whatnot. Like Ice Beam and Dragon Pulse is really all I need. Uh, Dragon Pulse is literally only there for the Arc of Nine as Ice Beam will hit everything else pretty damn well. And then, uh, so yeah, that's a uh, Terra Volt, uh, Wuji Yang. That's uh, my first two mods. And then next up, well, like I said, I guess first three mods because I done went over my misfortune here, the Toga Uh My win condition is my Crooked All here. Um, uh, again, enough speed to outspeed a uh, Timid Nittle King. Almost max HP with the rest dumped in attack. This basically allows me to set up uh, substitutes on a lot of things and uh, bulk up earthquake and knock off. Knock off and earthquake is the only coverage I need. Intimidate to uh, intimidate, you know, Ferrothorn and Arcanine and the Kecleon. Make sure they have a hard time breaking my sub, even the Mega Low Plenty, to be honest. If I get in a situation where I need to lower its attack. And then uh, leftovers just to, uh, you know, get leftover recovery. Basically, uh, this thing can set up a sub, bulk up, and run through his team. If I get enough bulk ups up, <laughs> it's funny to say. Uh, mainly, the only thing that can uh, stop this is a uh, Feral Thorn. And maybe like a Max Defense Skull Bad or something. But, but this is my win condition. Uh, obviously supported by the rest of my team. And uh, the next mod's gonna be the FUB, my reuniclus here. Max defensive set, side shock, shadow ball, focus blast, hits everything on his team. Thunder wave to, uh, for speed control to help my Kieran block out. Leftovers and regenerator so I don't need recovery. Uh, leftovers and regenerator will be enough recovery. And basically this thing's my main switch into Mega Low Pony. Uh, that thing's a threat, so I need, you know, a main switch in. Anyways. My last mod's gonna be a Nidal Queen. Uh, enough speed to outspeed a uh, Max Speed uh, Sylveon. Modest to hit everything as hard as possible. Uh, the Piyapa Berry to uh, take a Psyshock from uh, Latios and then uh, hit it with like a Sludge Wave and then put it in Sucker Punch range. Uh, Sucker Punch does a uh, like a 47 to 52% or something, uh, even with a minus attack nature. And flamethrowers are there only for the Ferrothorn, and then basically Earth Power and Sludge Wave hit everything else neutrally. And uh, of course, Sheer Force to boost my power as much as possible. And I would like to run Life, uh, life Orb, but uh, I, I need a safeguard for the Latios, even with, you know, Togetic and whatnot running around here. So yeah, that's gonna be my team. So let's go ahead and hop into the battle here. He does bring the Sylveon, the Cresselia, the Arcanine, the Latios, the Ferrothorn, and the Megalopony. Uh, yeah, just had to make sure the music was off here. So, I'm gonna lead with, uh, with Infernape. As I said, that would be my lead, expecting the Megalopony lead. But he actually leads with the Cresselia, so it's a little problematic for me, straight off the bat. He's gonna re reveal Thunder Wave, which is a problem kind of uh, didn't agree with that play because I had Crook and Middle Queen, especially Crook, which is like a switch in for Cresselia. But I'm gonna be able to eat up the Thunder Wave and the Psy Shock and then go for the Endeavor and kind of force it to recover as I can switch into my Crook here and then get a free knockoff off. Get off a free knockoff is what I should say. So he does bring in his Sylveon, which uh, you know obviously resists knockoff and takes hardly nothing because I'm not that invested and I need boost to knock that thing out. And he's gonna go for the baton pass as I switch into my Togetic. Brings in the Ferrothorn. And basically I'm just gonna sack off my Infernape here and see what he wants to do. And he's just gonna set up his rocks, so pretty good play on his part. It's gonna force him out into his uh, Arcanine, which scared me because I thought it might be Flash Fire, but it does show off the, uh, the Intimidate as I go for the Endeavor. Which brings him down to me, knowing he's got has to recover here, and then he goes in. Uh, yeah, he does use the morning sun, and here's a big play because I'm gonna I'm gonna predict the Ferrothorn to come out, 
So I'm going to go straight for the Focus Blast. And as you see, he's going to bring in his low bunny. So this, this is, this is going to get knocked out, but I miss. So very unfortunate for me there. Uh, yeah, very unfortunate for me. But this is my switch, so I'm, I don't have to switch out or anything. This is my switch in. So he goes for the fake out. And now he's probably going to switch out. So I'm just going to go for the side shark. Or the T-Wave, I think. I think go for Thunder Wave. Yeah. To catch basically anything. Hoping he don't go into the Ferrothorn because then Gyro Ball does more. But he does go into the Cresselia. Is I can just fire off a, uh, I believe I go for the Shadow Ball. Yeah. And uh, it bring, he, he doesn't show uh, Leftover. So I don't really know what his item is. But he just Baton passes out. And he's uh, getting weakened for uh, Kirim and Crook. So here I'm just going for Psy Shock and Shadow Ball. Maybe hoping I can catch him on a, another switch. He goes for Thunder Wave. So now we're both Thunder Wave, these two psychic type uh, bulky walls. And uh, predict him to uh, probably, uh, yeah, Moonlight and recover up here as I switch into my Crooked Doll, King Crooked here. And I can just fire off another knockoff, I believe. And he does go into the Arcanine. So Earthquake would have been a fine play there, uh, predicting him to switch out. But nonetheless, I can just switch into my Togetic here as he goes for the Will-O-Wisp. I did not want Crook getting burned, obviously. So as he goes for the Morning Sun, I'm gonna set up a nasty plot here. And then uh, he's gonna try to take me out with the Flare Blitz or the Wild Charge. He does reveal that he doesn't have the Wild Charge and goes for the Flare Blitz as I just baton pass out to my Kieran. So now I got a uh, Woody Yang in here with a uh, nasty plot boost up. So I'm gonna substitute, predicting him to not have anything to hit me with. But he does reveal close combat. Uh, I didn't expect it because it, it don't make sense against my team with uh, on Arcanine anyway. But yeah, I'm just gonna knock that thing out with a Dragon Pulse. And then he brings in his Latios here, and I'm gonna sack my Infernape to the Draco Meteor. So now I can come in with Crookedaw here. And basically this turns into a 50-50 for him. If I have Pursuit, he does he like he's not gonna want to switch out. And if I don't if like basically I can take a Draco here at minus one, it does like a little over half. And uh, he's gonna drop that Draco and it does 43%. So I'm gonna go for the bulk up here, force him to switch out now, because he knows I probably don't have the uh, the pursuit now i'm gonna go for another bulk up basically because i could live any uh another draco if you wanted to go for it and now i'm uh plus two attack and plus two defense knock out the sylveon with the earthquake and now uh it was a roll but it was a roll i didn't want to take so he's gonna come back in and he's gonna drop another draco and i'm just gonna sack off my Kieran here and yeah, so now I'm just make sure that he's always got a uh, minus one special attack before I bring in my crook. He's gonna bring in uh, his Cresselia here, I believe, as I go for the Sludge Wave, knowing that if you switch out to Ferrothorn, I could just fire off a Flamethrower on the next turn. And then I'm gonna switch out to my crook here, hard switch out, and he does make a nice double there, which uh, is Good for him, unfortunate for me because now I'm in a pickle. I'm just gonna sack off my Togetic, see what he wants to go for. And he does just drop another Draco. I'm just gonna bring in my Reuniclus here. And he don't want this thing getting Thunder Waved. And I'm gonna predict that and go for the Focus Blast. And uh, it's a two hit KO on the Ferrothorn. So he's gonna go for the knockoff here. I'm gonna go for the Focus Blast again, but I get fully paralyzed, which is kind of unfortunate for me and good for him. He's gonna be able to switch out now as I go for uh, another Focus Blast, but it doesn't matter because I get fully paralyzed again. He goes for the Moonlight with the Cresselia, and basically here I'm having to hope for Spadef drops because I just can't do enough to this thing. And, uh,. I'm going to, I think, alternate in between Focus Blast and Shadow Ball, trying to catch the, the Mega Low Pony on Switch In. 
and uh, he gets fully paralyzed, and I go for the side shark, just in case he wanted to go out to the mega low pony on my shadow ball. And he goes for another side shark, and I get fully paralyzed. I don't have, I don't have my leftovers anymore, so kind of unfortunate for me. Here's where something's actually going to work out for me. He's going to bring in his Ferrothorn on what he thinks might be my Shadow Ball, but I needed uh, I needed my HP to go back up on Reuniclus so I could take on the Mega Low Pony. So I'm going to switch out to my Crookedile, and he's actually going to switch out first because uh, this is faster than me, and he's going to bring in his Ferrothorn, and I get to Intimidate off. And then here I got to bank on him not having the uh, Power Whip, and I go for Substitute. And he shows knockoff. Well, I mean, he already showed knockoff, but he shows knockoff is the th only thing he's got to hit me with. I'm able to set up a sub here. And here I'm going to go for the bulk up as I can get, you know, a little more HP back and increase my attack and defense. He's going to bring in the Mega Low Pony and go for Encore. So, really good play on his part. Now I'm stuck in uh, bulk up mode. And he's going to be able to break my sub here with the. Uh, High jump kick. I ran some calcs and he can't kill me from here. But I still can't risk it. Because like I said in my uh when I was showing my team off, I did like Crookedal is my win condition. And I need him to drop a Draco. But he's gonna make the good play and he's gonna switch out to his Ferrothorn on my Shadow Ball. Get a spadef drop, don't really matter. Because uh Focus Blast knocks it out anyway. He's gonna go for the knockoff, and I'm gonna knock him out with the focus blast. And right here is, uh, he's going to, he's gonna bring in his mega low pony and fake out, plus return knocks me out. So I'm gonna switch into my crook on the fake out and get a intimidate, and then switch back out into my reuniclus so I can get, uh, you know, regen back. And uh, now have him you know, his attack lowered. So here I'm in a better position and he's gonna predict me, right here it's, a, it's another, you know, 50-50. Either he switches into his Latios or his Cresselia and I go for Shadow Ball or he stays in and I go for Side Shock. And he predicts me to stay in, he said, or he predicts me to go for Shadow Ball predicting his switch in, which is a good play, but it's kind of risky on his part. And uh, I'm gonna not predict anything. I'm gonna go for my safe play and hit him up with the side shot. Knock the low pony out. Good for me, bad for him. And he's gonna bring in his Latios. He's gonna drop a Draco Meteor. And I'm gonna bring in my Crookedile, knowing I only take up to like 44, 45%. And I do just take 40% and I'm gonna go for the knockoff here. Knock out the Latios. So now it's a uh, 2v1 tipped in my favor. And uh, I'm just gonna go for the knockoff here and see what he wants to go for. It does half exactly. He gets full paralyzed. I'm gonna be able to knock him out here at the next knockoff. Still, still in an hour trip to the finals, which is really good for me. Uh, that was a great battle against the uh, Carolina Clefables and their coach. Really tense, 51 turns. Uh, I don't think any turn went by where I didn't think for a full minute and a half or two minutes or something. We didn't have the timer on, so that helped us uh, think about our plays a little bit longer. And we will be going to the finals and we will play the winner of the Toronto Star Raptors and the Anaapolis Apsils. So, if you like, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.